Hey everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. Got a real nice treat to bring you this week, folks. 1991 Cadillac Brome. This is a beautiful 36,000 mile car. Um, if some of you have been following me since like the beginning of time, you might say this car looks familiar because I have had this car in my possession once before. I sold this car back in 2018 with like 600 miles less than it has on it now. Uh, sold to a nice gentleman up in Michigan. And I have since got the car back here. It's here on consignment to find a new home. And from 2018 till now, like I said, he's only put about 600 miles on it. Uh, and he's realizing he's not going to use it just as much as he thought he was. So it's a 1991. It's a Cadillac Brome. Beautiful silver with a gray leather interior, gray vinyl top. Really pretty car. Just went through the car, did four brand new tires on it. Brand new front pads and rotors. Uh, water pump, uh, exhaust from the cat back. The car is ready to go. It's a turnkey car. It's a really nice example of this 1992 body style that is absolutely exploding in collectability and popularity. It's a really, really strong market for these cars right now. If you're thinking about buying a Cadillac Brome, buy them now. Absolutely, especially these 1992 versions. Uh, you might have a hard time hearing me. I apologize for that. I did forget my headset back at the shop, but I wanted to show you this. It just poured out, and it's going to rain for the next couple days. So I'm real itchy to get this car in pictures and show you how beautiful this car is. You can see here, beautiful silver paint all the way down the side. It just absolutely glistens. The chrome, and you can see the clouds or what's left of the clouds. Beautiful vinyl top. All the emblems on the car are in really nice shape. It's got the original vinyl top. You can see all the stitching is still present. Come down over the deck lid. Car is a real nice example of this 1992 vintage. It's got just under 36,000 original miles. Um, I sold it with like 36,400. I think it's got 36,900. Uh, put very, very little miles on it. See all the chrome is real nice and bright. This car is just an amazing, amazing example. I'll go around the car. I'm gonna point out some flaws with it, known flaws. Uh, point out some of the nice features about the car like I always do. And then we'll get in, show you the interior. Look at that paint, just gleam. It's absolutely gleaming in the sun. This is one gorgeous car. All the bright work on the front of the car is in really nice shape. Chrome, the grill. Um, looks like I caught a fresh bug on the way up here. Uh, a couple little small chips here. Uh, nothing too crazy on the bumper molding there. You can see on the corner is a nice shape. All the chrome is beautiful over here. Uh, four brand new Hankook Optimo tires. Uh, literally just put them on. They still got the nubs, the paint marks on them has the headlight monitoring system beautiful stainless going down factory power antenna all the moldings down the side are in really nice shape chrome door handles a beautiful illuminated entry chrome on the mirrors are perfect it's a real nice 36,000 mile car glass is really nice can see how straight this car is. Still got that tag on the front tire there. Another nice wire cap, brand new Hankook Optimo tire. Does have a little bit of a chip. You can see right there on the lower molding. Tail light, those beautiful European tail lights with the white inserts. Chrome on the car shows really nice. Just light scratches from you know normal wear and tear and use, but very clean. The molding's in nice shape. Couple very minor marks there. I believe when I had this car here, I did replace these two filler panels. Uh, these ones on the quarters are original and absolutely beautiful. Really soft, very shiny. Got the flip open the door, uh, trunk lock cover. Now, just a real nice example of this 1992 Ever Brome. 
Come down this side, you get the original Brome emblems. Beautiful pinstripe down the sides. Another brand new Hankook Optimo white wall. And down here, a couple little minor chips right on the door edge right there. Really nothing too crazy. Very, very minor scratch right there. It's kind of hard to pick up, but the minor mark there. Really a nice presentable Cadillac. Again, look at that beautiful paint on the hood. Now this is a 91 Cadillac Brom, so this would be the first year that GM used base clear on these cars. Otherwise, they were lacquer painted cars from 90 and, and previous years. All the chrome and stainless, absolutely beautiful. The lenses are beautiful and clean. A couple little chips on this front bumper molding as well. And this, I didn't notice this before, but this I think is actually gonna come off. I'm gonna bring it back to the shop and try to polish that off. That's like a paint transfer. But it does have a few light scrapes right on the side there. And then I remember this from before. It's got this weird mark here on the corner of this bumper molding. Uh, it, you get kind of catching the right light. It almost reminds me, I think maybe it had uh, those sticky deer whistles on the front. Someone took it off and tried to, you know, chisel that glue off. But uh, let's take this girl. We'll open her up. I'm going to unlock all the doors. We're going to take a look inside. And then we're going to look under the hood and in the trunk. And we'll take this beautiful 91 Brome for a ride. All right, it's time to take a look at the inside of this Cadillac. Before I get inside, I want to point this out here. It's got the stickers here, and it does have the factory anti-theft system. This is kind of cool. I've never seen these on another GM, but they're GM stickers. Occupants of this vehicle are required to wear seatbelts. <laughs> kind of odd. But hey, that's what they were doing in 1990 with these automatic style seatbelts. Uh, you can see in here, beautiful gray leather interior, 35,000 mile car. I know I accidentally said 36. It's just about to click 36,000. It's got like 35,970 something miles. So, uh, but this car shows the mileage very nicely. You can see all inside the door jams, the latches still have the anodizing, all nice and clean on the bottom of the jams, inside the thresholds. Door panel, obviously no cracks or anything like that on the armrest, a really common area. All the chrome and bright work is nice on here. A couple little chips and cracks, uh, not cracks, what am I saying? A couple little chips and scuffs on the uh, the wood here, you know, maybe from a, a ring or a piece of jewelry, uh, you know, but all the chrome in the bucket, the switches, pull handle, all in really nice shape. The vinyl on the top, nice and soft, dash pad, is absolutely perfect headliner I did replace the headliner in this car when I sold it back then so that is a replacement headliner you can see here the beautiful leather interior very nice soft and supple leather not dry nor worn out carpeting is nice and clean very minor wear right here but all nice and clean where it's supposed to be a beautiful leather wrapped wheel you can still feel the stitching on the inside edge and really if you really get in close you can actually still feel the thickness of the the pulp and the grain that's still on this wheel it's not smoothed out or worn out uh, like a lot of them get after you know just normal use uh, back seat is just as clean as the front seat you can see again the anodizing is still on the latches the door jams Edges are all nice and clean. Carpeting is absolutely beautiful. Come up and the rear shelf is nice and clean. How did I miss that? Ugh, there's a blooper. I'll probably just keep it in there. <laughs> um, uh, beautiful <laughs> leather interior. Uh, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Carpeting is real clean in this car. This car, remember when I bought this car? I bought it out of Connecticut. And the woman that I bought this car from was like a hundred pounds soaking wet. And she loved this car, but she was just realizing it was just getting a little too big for her. Um, you know, so that's why I think that this car survived so nicely, especially with the interior. And beautifully nice and clean in here. Clean up in here. Up 
carpet is nice and clean. Looks like I might have missed a little bit of a spot right there. The leather interior is real nice. Again, nice and soft and supple. The backs of the front seats are in nice shape. All the bright work around the ashtray and stuff, nice and clean. Window switches, I mean, look at how shiny the switches are. The wood is nice and glossy. Has the original Cadillac door knobs. 1992 only came with these knobs with the little Cadillac uh, crest and reef, which is kind of cool. Inside that jam again, nice and clean. See how clean and shiny that threshold is. And again, you come back up here. Dashboard is beautiful. All the chrome trim is beautiful. Leather seats. Just like on the driver's side, nice and soft and supple. Does have the flip open center armrest with the uh, change holder. Center... Uh, the center, uh, you know, storage compartment there is good for like cassettes or CDs or probably cassettes back in this time. It has the original litter bin. Pop open the glove box here. You can see here I have a, uh, let's see what we got here. Why am I drawing a blank for words today? The original Cadillac cassettes. This is a remote for the radio. Original owner's manual. Have the hubcap key over here um, and we also have another cadillac brome gold key delivery cassette uh, this is a usb cord to connect to the radio it is a bluetooth ready radio um, touch screen radio that the previous owner had installed it does come with a factory radio that's in the trunk again look how clean that is Absolutely beautiful. You can see I left one of the stickers on the tires, I guess. Just put those tires on. Anyways, we're going to get in, start it up, pop the hood, pop the trunk, and we're going to take this girl for a spin. All right, we're inside the 91 Brome. We'll start it up. You can see all the lights that light up on the Telltale Strip. 35,978 miles. Absolutely perfect. You can see here all the climate control, the touchscreen radio, the power antenna does work. Turn that on, you can see it coming up. We'll shut that off. I'm gonna pop the hood. I'm gonna shut the car off only because I don't have my headset. Uh, I'm thinking that you're probably not gonna be able to hear me. Uh, with the engine on and the car running without a headset. So, take a look. This is a 5-liter Chevy 305, so this is the throttle body fuel injected, just like the 5.7 350. Uh, this is just a slightly smaller version, I think within less than 15 horsepower, I think is the difference. It's very minor, uh, but it's a Chevy small block, very common uh, engine and a lot of GM products. You know, it's when they came out with this 90 to 92 body style, uh, they finally got the engines right in the last years that they made these cars with these 305 Chevy small blocks and then the 350s that were available too. Again, Chevy small block, same family of engine uh, versus the earlier 80s versions with the 4100s and the uh, old 307s. Not to, you know, we'll say shit on those engines, but... These were nice, they're fuel injected, not carbureted, uh, you know, just really powerful and peppy. I do have all four original floor mats. Driver's side shows a little bit of uh, discoloration as you'd expect. And I also do have the original Cadillac trunk mat. Uh, mini spare, all inside the jam is nice and clean in the trunk. You can see here, has the original option tag as well, but real clean, real presentable. I uh, come over here. This is the box for the uh, original radio uh, there, or the aftermarket radio. Here's the original radio. 
Uh, that's just my wipe down kit there. Uh, you can see here it does have the locking gas door option as well. Uh, that locks this guy here. You can see a backup camera has been installed as well. Uh, normally if this was my car, I don't quite like aftermarket radios and stuff like that. Um, I'd probably, you know, take it out. But where this isn't my car, I'm not going to do that. It's all plug and play stuff. Uh, you know, if you wanted to put the factory system back in, that's definitely not a problem for you to do. Yeah, let's take this girl for a spin. I'm really excited to take this one for another drive. It's been a few years. It's kind of funny, though. <laughs> back in 2018, I was... I'm still an amateur, but I was so much an amateur back then. I didn't know how to edit or clip videos together. So what I'd do is I'd run around one uh, car and in running around the car, I'd take one video and try not to screw up. Every time I screwed up, I had to start over. So uh, I've come a little bit of a way. I'm still doing it on my iPhone here. Still doing it, you know, as an amateur, but a professional amateur of that. All right, let's take this girl for a spin here. All right, take it for a spin now. I got absolutely bombarded by the glare from the sun. So we're gonna take it out on the road right now and we'll take this girl for a nice spin. 30, just under 36,000 original miles on this car. Uh, this is a real nice example of the 90 to 92 body style brooms. Beautiful gray, silver gray. Gray two-tone or cladding on the bottom with a gray vinyl top, gray leather interior. Um, this car is ready to go. Don't let a dream like this, uh, you know, hold you back with distance. I mean, I'm in southern New Hampshire, but I ship them all over the world. Uh, I can get you this car delivered anywhere in the United States relatively easily. Uh, I can also help with exporting as well. That's not a problem. My name is Anthony. I appreciate everybody for tuning in and watching. Hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner if you like what you see. Follow me and my father. We call him Papa Bear Long for the road. Follow me and Papa Bear Long. And anytime you see something like this that you you have interest in, give me a call. You know, I'm not trying to rush anybody into a car, but these cars sell quick. These are really hot commodities right now. And they sell pretty much themselves in a matter of just a little bit of time. So 978-930-1004 is my number. Give me a call. Check me out on Facebook, Specialty Motor Cars. Or follow me on Instagram, Specialty Motor Cars and H. Uh, both those social media platforms get a lot of sneak peek things. Got a lot of cool stuff coming in. They just keep piling in. I got that beautiful red brome that I just picked up. I got a triple white. 91 brome coming out of Tennessee um, really a nice piece excited to get that uh, I got another town car coming in a long wheelbase ultimate L town car which I'm super excited about uh, with like 26,000 miles so I still got them coming I'm still offering them everybody's still looking for them definitely hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and we'll talk to you on the next one